This is Great Chefs of France, featuring some of the country's top artisans from Rouen to Lyon, from Paris to Cannes. Welcome to a culinary tour of some of the world's preeminent dining destinations. This time from Salou, Bernard Wasseau. From Paris, Michel Rostang. And from Rouen, Sebastian Desjardins. Bernard Loiseau is the chef owner and force majeure of La Cote d'Or in Salou. In addition, the three-star chef owns two restaurants on the left and right bank of the Seine in Paris. Tante Marguerite and Tante Louise both offer Burgundian comfort food, like this first course, mushroom soup. Bonjour, je suis Bernard Loiseau, donc restaurateur à Saulieu en Bourgogne. Et donc, nous allons vous préparer la soupe de cèpe. Voici les ingrédients, des cèpes. Bien ferme, petit cep magnifique. The chef describes the ingredients he will use. These are porcini mushrooms. They've been trimmed and sliced. He says they smell very good. He'll also use poultry stock, milk, butter, garlic puree, salt, and pepper. Sel et poivre du moulin. As the chef prepares to saute the mushroom slices, we'll revert to the direct translation from Marc Cosnard de Cosin. We put them one by one, one at a time. Put the mushrooms in the butter. Porcini mushrooms are very difficult to find fresh in the States. Generally, they are purchased dried and require rehydration before use. They have a very strong woodsy flavor and an almost meaty texture. And we make them golden brown on each side. Bien doré. See, now they're golden brown. Next. Once it's golden brown, we put the poultry stock in with it to deglaze. You have to really... By, by browning the uh, mushrooms, it gives much more flavor to the, to the poultry stock once you add it. Then we season a little bit of salt. Fresh pepper. And now we let it cook for 10 minutes. The whole, the whole point of my cooking is cooking without fat. We want to do natural cuisine. We only use some butter to lightly brown it, and the rest is with water. 
Maintenant, dans le blender, pour faire la purée, pour faire la soupe de cèpe. Voilà. Et maintenant, mixte. Vas-y. C'est là où on coupe. Vas-y, mets le couvert. Allez, bien. Then we add. Après, après, je vous médaille. We add a little bit of garlic puree. Then we strain it. We strain the mixture. This way we get the flavor of the porcini. It's a really nice flavor. It's very strong. See, we removed everything we didn't want, all the impurities, and we just have the velvety soup. And we whisk it well. There it's perfect. And this is the soup. And no cream, no butter, and natural, and lots of flavor. Natural cuisine, lots of flavor. You put a little bit of milk. And there we have the perfect consistency. And here we have some fried porcini. Donuts. It has to be crunchy. We put this at the last minute to sit. That way, when we eat it, we have the crunchy. Mushroom. And this we fry. There, yeah, that's the whole dish. There you go. Restaurant Michel in Paris is the domain of Michel Rostang. He grew up cooking and represents the fifth generation of chefs in his family. He grew up in the classic French culinary rubric, so has a passion for seasonal products and new items. Here is poached and roasted veal knuckle in braising juice. For this dish, we will carry Marc Cosnard de Closet's translation. Donc, je vais prendre 
First thing we do is blanch it, just let it boil in some water. Carrot, onion, celery, and leek will be added to the poaching liquid. So now our veal has boiled, it's blanched. He changes the water and adds the vegetables. un peu de persil, que de persil pour mettre un bouquet garni, non Voilà. Le fond de braisage. This is cooked slowly for two and a half to three hours. So first I took the uh, poached veal knuckle out of the poaching liquid and it actually cooled in the poaching liquid. Now putting it in this braising pan, then I'm making a braising sauce with little bits of veal which have cooked for a long time and vegetables that were used in the poaching sauce. I'm going to strain this out to make my braising juice. It's very important not to use veal bones to make this juice, but to only use pieces of veal meat. It's important that the veal juice that we're using should be so tasty you can just eat it with a spoon. Now we baste the veal with the uh, braising juice. We'll put it in the oven for about 20 minutes, basting it often. At 375 degrees. After 20 minutes in the oven, you can see the veal is nice golden brown. It's completely cooked. This is our cooking juice. Which we're going to season. Now we strain the cooking juice into the serving platter. So we're going to prepare some leek green baskets. What we, what we do is we take the leek greens, roll them around a mold. They've been blanched. We roll it around this mold. And then we're going to deep fry them. The veal is served with risotto, which contains blanched peeled green peas, butter, pea paste, and canta cheese. And now we're going to peel the actual peas. Only in France. 
It's very, it takes a lot of patience to do this. Then we add the peeled peas to the risotto. A compound butter that was mixed with a pea paste is added. Also grated kanta cheese, which is made in the kanta region. It has a yellow color and piquant flavor. The risotto is served in the leek leaf rounds. See, it's very soft, it's very moist. Because it was poached for a while, a long while actually, and then roasted for a little while. La Maison Tragra, the namesake of the famed family, is almost a tourist attraction at Roanne. Michel, son of one of the original owner chefs, has maintained its preeminence. Shown on the left here with pastry chef Sebastian Desjardins, they present a blockbuster dessert called a crepe cake. Chef Desjardins begins by scraping a vanilla bean and adding to milk. The milk goes over heat. The chef has already started egg whites in an electric mixer. Chef Foie Gras is explaining that they have to be started slowly, and then toward the end, sugar is added. Meanwhile, egg yolks and sugar are combined. They'll be whisked to a pale yellow. On va blanchir, blanchir les jaunes avec le sucre. Flour is added. On incorpore la farine. Je peux mélanger. Butter is added to the boiling milk. Le beurre au lait. After it's melted, it's combined with the yolk mixture. Alors, le mélange. Beurre, lait et gousse de vanille sur le mélange jaune d'œuf, sucre, farine. The yolk mixture is transferred to a larger bowl and the egg whites are added, completing the batter. Impressionnant, on va mettre tous les blancs d'œufs. 
Ton appareil ne va pas être trop compact, là. Non Donc, je te mets dedans Parce que comme des îles flottantes. Et voilà. The smaller pans will hold the crepes that form the inside of the cake. The large pan coated with clarified butter is the cover. The large pan goes briefly over heat and a sort of assembly line process is started with making the smaller crepes. Each pan is buttered, put briefly over direct heat, then placed in the oven. Then four of the smaller crepes are covered with the big crepe. Voilà, on chapote le gâteau avec la dernière. Voilà, comme ceci. Using a towel, the chef carefully tucks the edges of the large crepe under the small ones. Donner une très belle forme à l'aide d'une serviette. It's served with vanilla custard cream. 